I'm Jake Voss, I'm Kemper, Director of Research and Agronomy here at Liquor Grow. Hi, I'm Katie Haas, Director of Sales and Marketing here at Liquor Grow. Dr. Jake, I know there's a lot of snow on the ground right now, but we're starting to prepare for 2024. And one thing that we've been um, arguing about as an industry for 15 years now is how low is too low when it comes to seeding soybeans? That's a great question. And yeah, so I've been getting a couple questions from the countryside regarding this subject, which as you suggest, it comes up every year. Katie, I think for the normal soybean producer, 120,000 seeds per acre is kind of my lower end. And not that you need 120,000 seeds per acre, but you can lose a lot in a hurry in soybean from a crusting event, from a seedling disease issue, especially if you're planting early, it doesn't take long to lose 20,000 plants per acre. Now, the reason we talk, we hear about these ultra low, low soybean populations is it's these high yield guys. Okay, if your objective is to grow 150 bushel soybean or 120 bushel soybean, it does make some sense to reduce your seeding rate to maybe 80,000 plants per acre because what happens with those higher populations, those plants get so big, they get so much top growth, they fall over. Sure. So if you're going for maximum yields, 130, 140, 150 bushel, it makes sense to plant 80 to 100,000 seeds because you're going to have lodging, right? right? But for the normal soybean grower that's looking for 80 bushels, 120,000 is as low as I would go. And you mentioned that crusting event, Jake. Oftentimes you plant 120,000, you have a little bit of a crust, now you're all of a sudden down to 90, 85, 80,000, and Correct. is that enough plants per acre? Yeah, 85, 90,000 final stand is enough, yes. Okay, Jake, so what about on the high end? You know, you have a lot of, you don't have a lot of guys probably doing it much anymore here in our territory, but you still hear about some 175s, 180,000. When is that appropriate? Is it ever appropriate? Well, I would say that on some pretty tough ground where it's hard to get canopy, you know, 160, 170,000, that makes agronomic sense. If you're still using an old drill, that can be a, a place where you might want to plant, you know, seed 160, 170,000. But for the grand majority of us, that would be way too much in general. And just like I talked about lodging in the high yield environments, if you get that high and you have a good farm, you can even have lodging up there at that 160, 170, 180. To give you a little bit of background here, I had a, a, in my past life, we had a maximum yield trial we were running in soybean. So we had all kinds of inputs and then took away inputs and seeding rate was a part of that. When we planted 180,000 seeds with the maximum yield components, it lodged every single time. At 140, it stood pretty good. 180, always lodged. So lodging can be an issue when you get up there at those higher higher ends, even in normal situations. Jake, do you recommend customers should try to plant different populations for different types of soybeans or different types of soil? Uh, different types of soil. I think if you have a farm that's got a lot of variation in it and you've got some pretty tough hill ground or maybe a sandy knob, you know, those would be some areas in the tougher growing conditions where you'd want to seed more. And then in the very productive parts of that farm, you might actually want to seed a little bit less, but I still wouldn't go below 120,000. Okay, Jake, also, you know, we've kind of switched um, our tune over the last 10, 15 years, and some guys are planting their soybeans earlier than their corn, or some guys have two planters now, they run their corn with one and their beans with another, for example. Um, so we're planting these beans a lot earlier than we used to. So we are getting them mudded in, in some cases. Yep. Um, do you recommend changing your, your seeding rates because of that going earlier? So in other words, if you're going super early, should I plant more seeds per acre? Yeah. Um, Look at that. You actually paraphrased everything yeah, I was trying yeah, to say yeah, for once. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, Katie, I don't necessarily think that's necessary. I think that if you're you know planting ultra early, I still think... 120,000 seats per acre should be the, you know, that, that should be the minimum, but I don't necessarily think that you need to go up to 160 or 170 because you're planting early. Um, you know, I think the most important thing to think about with early planting is uh, full seed treatment package, all the fungicides, the Levo, you know, that's, that's what it's I, worth it. that's definitely, definitely, definitely if you're going to plant early like that, yes. Thanks, Jake. Hopefully you folks at home learned something from this today. You can tell we have our name tags on and you can see some people walking around in the background. This isn't our normal um, environment. environment, but we are actually at one of our Winter Lead Academy events in person. If you'd like to see Dr. Jake in person in the flesh, um, he will be at the Waterfront Convention Center down in Bettendorf, Iowa on February 20th. And you can go to our website today, www.liquid-grow.com. 
and you can come to that event. If you're a customer, if you're not a customer, it's open to everybody. So. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, right, like Katie? and subscribe. I know we're so close to a thousand. Thanks. Have a great day. Stay in the know with Liquor Grow.